light behaves both as a wave and a particle. We have a name for this strange behavior. It's called wave-particle duality. We can say that light travels as waves, but light interacts as discrete particles. In fact, even weirder still, it turns out that it's not just light that behaves like this, it's how matter behaves as well. For example, electrons, which are particles of matter, can be fired into crystals where the atomic arrangements of the crystal acts much like the two slits in the two slit experiment for light. The result is that electrons experience both constructive and destructive interference. Thus, they only pass through the crystal in certain directions and not in others, which is confirmed by theory. Perhaps the strangest part of wave-particle duality is the wave part. What we know is this particular wave is spread out over space, and it describes the probability of finding the particle somewhere. For example, it is possible to use an extremely dim light source to conduct the two-slit experiment. The light source can be so dim that it's actually only emitting one photon at a time. This can be detected at the screen as a single photon hit. If you look at the location of any individual photon strike, it appears random. Yet, when you run the experiment continuously, emitting one photon at a time over a long period of time, you see the interference pattern. This is actually an amazing result, since we would expect one photon to go either through one slit or the other. How can there be any interference? There's no other light present, so what is the source of the interference? Is the photon interfering with itself? This is the heart of the nature of quantum mechanics and how particles behave. They truly act as waves until they interact with other matter. The particle wave spreads through space, going through both slits, with the interference pattern determining where on the screen the particle is allowed to hit. Notice that a well-defined deterministic particle could not experience interference like this. We are not saying that there is simply uncertainty with the position of a particle as it travels. What we are saying is that the particle is in some kind of actual wave-like state before it impacts the screen. At impact, the particle then acts like a typical single particle with a known position.